we've called it smart code insight and it's the ability to use AI LLMs within the RAD Studio IDE. Rather than teaming with one individual vendor and one individual company and provide you one specific option, what we've decided to do is to build an open architecture for plugins that are tied to artificial intelligence. The architecture is based on an open tools API and in fact, you can create your own plugins for this architecture. Of course, having only the architecture won't be terribly useful. We are also shipping ready to use support for three online solutions, the OpenAI API, the Gemini API by Google and the Cloud API by Anthropic. We're also providing one offline solution, offline meaning a solution you can install locally on your machine or a machine in your network. And that solution is on Llama. We are also providing a ready to use Docker image that you can install on a Linux machine or you can install on the Windows subsystem for Linux. What's important to underline is that everything is optional and it's disabled by default. You can disable it. You can enable each of the individual engines that you want to use and you have a license to use. Of course, of course, b before you use one of these APIs, you need to create an account on the system and pay for the usage to the vendor. And what you need to do in the configuration page is add some general parameters plus the individual API keys that are provided you once you have an active account. Again, you can choose which providers are active. You can choose the default provider for the operations done in the editor. You can choose the same or a different provider for the chat window available in the IDE. You can decide to disable everything and nothing will, will happen. You can decide to use only an offline solution that provides you the maximum privacy because there's zero information sent to anyone else on the internet. So that was our approach and that is the goal of this solution. You decide if and how to use AI and you decide which of the vendors you want to work with and you trust. That's different from some other IDs that tend to offer one preferred solution at times made by the same vendor. How does it work in practice? There is a new chat window where you can ask like general purpose questions, ask to generate code for you, ask for anything specific. It's in the IDE, so you can easily copy and paste from that result window into your editor. There is also another option directly tied to the IDE itself, which is the ability to select code in the editor. Could be a function, could be a class, could be an entire unit, and invoke some ready-to-use operations on that code, like find bugs, explain code, add comments, complete the code, optimize, add unit tests, or some conversion function. These are available straight away in the IDE. And this is an example. I've written some clumsy code, clearly wrong code. Uh, I hope all of you recognize this as not being a good idea to allocate some memory and just, and just work away. And not only this was uh, highlighted, I think in this case by ChatGTP, but also there was a um, suggestion to rewrite that code in, uh, in a different way with a proper try finally block. As I mentioned, that screenshot was captured using ChatGPT. Now let's switch to a different engine and see what happens if I select the same function and I go to the smart code inside options and ask to find bugs um, in the code. The results are similar, not too surprisingly, although the code is slightly different. Now let me try another, another option, which is explain code. I found that quite nice. That would be probably good for, for a beginner to, okay, what is this code? What is this button? What is this button one click? What's happening here? And so it's telling me the type is starts a type declaration. T form is a class named T form, which inherits from T form. And button is a public field, likely represent a button control on the form. Yes, that is true. And button click is a method fix a parameter and um, is likely an event handler for the buttons click event, which is actually correct. Mm -hmm.